After some recent videos show Fernando taking some reps in the outfield while rehabbing his injury, there have been some whispers about the Padres possibly moving superstar Fernando Tatis Jr. to the outfield when he returns from the IL later this season. And on first thought, I was thinking, why the heck would the Padres think about moving their franchise icon off a shortstop? Well, let me give you a couple of reasons why this actually is a good idea and a Hall of Fame example of when a move like this worked out perfectly. To start off, a quick look at Fernando's fielding stats this season shows he has not had the best year defensively at shortstop. Even with all the time missed, he is among the MLB leaders in errors. Most of the time, though, these errors are a result of him getting to a ball and trying to make an impossible play that other shortstops probably wouldn't even have the chance to try and make. But because he's so good, he gets to the ball and just throws it away. Yeah, being a major leaguer means you should know when to just eat it. But he is so young, I think that he doesn't even have the experience yet. The one bad first half of a season shouldn't be the only reason to move a player off of shortstop and to the outfield like that. While the shoulder issue is on his non-throwing shoulder, you have to believe that this has to be part of the reason for the spike in throwing errors he's had this year. So until the shoulder issue is resolved, a temporary move to the outfield could clean up the team's defense. But besides his struggles at short this year, the Potters have had their own struggles in the outfield offensively. Both Grisham and Will Myers have been ice cold recently. And on the other side, Frazier and Crone have been consistent at the plate all year. And Hosmer has been better than crap recently, so you can't really move those guys for the time being. Then, not to mention, Crone has been locked down while filling in at shortstop recently. Some Padres fans might even argue that he is a better option defensively at short, especially after yesterday's game. So if he's decent in the outfield, this move might even strengthen their overall team defense. If you figure Tatis is in right or left, and Grisham is in center field, or the other way around, depending on how good Tatis looks out there. Now, we'll look at another time a team has moved their superstar shortstop to the outfield due to a shoulder injury. So back in 1984, future Hall of Fame shortstop Robin Yount developed similar shoulder issues, making it difficult for him to make accurate throws to first base. But just like Tatis, Yount was young and very athletic. So to preserve their superstar bat, the Brewers moved their top player to the outfield part-time that season. And the following year, Yount was in the outfield full-time in center field where he played for another nine seasons. Yount has even said that the move to the outfield prolonged his career, and it was one that landed him into the Hall of Fame. So would this kind of move so early in Fernando's career do the same thing to him? While the circumstances do have some similarities, they also have some glaring differences. To start off, Fernando plays baseball in a way that very few other professional athletes can. He goes balls out on every play, no matter the score, no matter the inning, no matter what time of year it is. So if he went all out on a fly ball down the line or on a ball near the wall, wouldn't his shoulder be in danger when he goes full force into the wall? just like Ken Griffey Jr. would do sometimes. He may not be on the same kind of level defensively overall as Griffey, but you have to believe El Nino would recklessly run hard into the walls just as the kid did back in the day. So if the Padres are serious about moving Fernando to the outfield, I think they'll probably have some deal with him or some mutual agreement to kind of just make sure he tones things down in the outfield from his usual style of play to avoid those hard runnings into the wall or into another player. Then after the season and after his surgery, I'm sure we will see him back at shortstop full time next year and for at least the next couple of years. Overall though, I don't care what the plan is for Fernando defensively as long as the dude stays healthy and keeps hitting how he has been this season because the Padres need his bat in the lineup more than ever. So yeah, go Padres and Fernando stay healthy. <laughs>